Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and happy new year. Hope you guys are doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So today we're gonna be modding the N2 Evolve by Fantex. It's the biggest case I've ever worked in, so this should be really exciting. And yeah, let's just roll the video. Actually, wait guys, I wanna show you my design plan on the SketchUp Make 2017. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So here it is guys, this is the, this is my design plan. Wait, oh, I need two hands. Aha, two hands. All right, so this is the front panel design of the Fantex N2 Evolve. And as you can see, we're gonna be bending some acrylic along the way, so this should be really fun. As you can see here, basically we're kind of duplicating the, the stock front panel of the of the N3 Evolve, and this should be really fun because I'm gonna be working on the the acrylic bending machine that I built. Oh, by the way, guys, if you are interested in like how I built the acrylic bending machine, let me know down in the comments below because I actually want to build like a smaller bending machine, and and uh, maybe I'll like cover a video on that as well. All right, guys, so you know what? Let's just start the modding session. If I had a CNC machine, my life would be a little bit better because everything would be automated, right? But, you know, of course we have what we have, so use what we have. All right, let's start bending this guy. Finally, our replica is completed. And uh, yeah, it looks exactly the same, but just my version. Okay, so let's start painting this, guys. guys so pretty much it turned out the way how I want it to turn out so as you notice that I've added the orange mesh behind these vents so it gives kind of like a it's more of a character instead of just black and silver 
and uh, just then we saw I, I took the, the Fantex sticker out, so that looks pretty awesome. So I guess, guys, let's start working on building the computer itself. Whoa, 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 guys, hold your horses. We have to talk about the coolest PC parts on Earth. I'm just kidding, it's not on Earth, but yeah. We're gonna be talking about the PC parts that we're gonna be building into this Fantex N3 Evolve. This is the Biostar Racing Z370 GT6. Now, it's gonna be my first Coffee Lake motherboard for the year 2018. I'm really excited to use this. And apparently, there are many features, uh, interesting features on this motherboard, actually. One, there's a dual BIOS system. So if one of them fails, the other one can take over. How cool is that? And two, this is a M.2 cooling heat sink, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna be using that one. And three, this is feature called GT Touch. Now, apparently, you can go with the eco mode where you save like some power, and if you go under sport mode, the system boosts the performance automatically. How cool is that? And apparently, there's gotta be like a bunch of LEDs on the left hand side. We'll definitely see see that when the build is completed. They say when you build they say when you build a computer you should invest in a very good power supply just like the Seasonic Focus Gold 80 plus 850FX fully modular power supply. Obviously you don't have to go all the way up to 850 but guess what guys this power supply has a 10 year warranty and definitely I highly recommend this power supply because one it looks pretty cool and two it's really hard to get it out I'm just kidding most power supplies for some reason it's really hard to take it out and by the way uh, three one cool thing about this power supply it is tiny like seriously tiny for for 850 watt or 750 watt power supply this has a very small footprint it's only 140 millimeters this is a full-size ATX power supply so yeah it looks great on the side and that's the back yeah and as I mentioned earlier this is a fully modular power supply but you know what to spice things up to make your build look a little bit cooler you should get cable mod you can get extensions or you can get custom cables for particular power supply check it out on cablemod.com it's pretty cool there's also like the pro pro versions as well and apparently it's like a lot thicker than these these are like the non pros but yeah you'll see when the build is finished some RGB fans by Reven. This is the Kiran model, and it's pretty cool in a way because you can control this externally. It is a PWM fan. It goes from 400 to 1,500 RPM. So definitely, this should really pop the build. Now, sorry guys, let's make room for the main attraction. This is the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti by Oris Gigabyte, and wait, notice this. It says water block. It doesn't come with a fan, it comes with a water block. You'll see in a bit. Here we go. Let's quickly unbox it. Hello, Oris. Ooh, baby. This is the bees and knees, guys. This is where the games and the GPU intensive calculations and all that, it happens right here. Check it out. Damn. So obviously, this card is meant to be water cooled. And we got two, actually four ports over here. We got two stop plugs here and an, another two G quarter thread there. And a nice looking backplate. Everything is really solid in this build. It's probably metal. I think this illuminates as well. This, uh, I think this dissipates heat as well. That's one of the features that they mentioned. And wow, guys, look at the design. That looks really awesome. It'll be really cool if this card can be vertically mounted. But we're not gonna do that in this build. Maybe in the future builds. All right, you know what? Let's not wait any longer. Let's build this computer. 